Hi and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight I wanted to take a quick look at what happens if you put in the incorrect F fluid or if your def fluid is running low and you decide to add water to it to get the level up a little bit. Uh, there's a number of SCR system D rates that can happen for various reasons. Some of the reasons overlap. Tonight we're going to point out how you can tell when the actual problem was because of the quality of def fluid versus another issue like maybe the DEP injector tip is clogged up and it system thinks it's spraying but it's really not. Or there's a giant ball of DEF stuck in your decomp pipe and you're not getting exhaust flow with the uh, atomized DEF as you should. But tonight we're going to be able to see that we did in fact have a DEF quality problem. And this did pan out. We drained the tank put in the correct fluid, and went through the uh, fault clearing steps, and the problem went away. So let's take a look at the fault codes quick, and see what happens when you use the incorrect DEF fluid. And by the way, this goes for the ISX, QSX, ISC, L9, ISB, QSB, QSL. All the Cummins engines that use DEF fluid will have basically these faults in if you use the incorrect DEF fluid. Here we have the fault codes that were in this engine after the incorrect DEF fluid was in it. We're going to zoom a little bit and take a look and see which ones apply. So if we look over at the right where it says time since first fault, we can see that seven hours prior to when we are hooked up to this engine pulling these faults, the system logged an active 3866, and that was after treatment diesel exhaust fluid quality, data valid but below normal operating range, most severe. So this is the DEF quality sensor that is in the DEF tank. It's the one reporting that the DEF fluid is not the correct fluid. So the operator continues to run the unit and then about three hours later he's got a 3714 and then about an hour, about a half hour later he's got a 3712. Those are active D rates. 3712 as you can see drives a red light which tells him he needs to stop what he's doing, pull over and shut the engine off when it's safe because the engine's in a full D rate. If he would fuel up, or if he would add DEF fluid at this point, the engine would only idle until the problem was corrected. After we put the correct DEF fluid in and went through the procedure to uh, make sure the float knew what the levels were, we started the engine, put it in the stationary regen, and the fault for the quality went inactive, the D rates went inactive, the SCR system inefficiency fault stayed active, but we knew we had the problem corrected and we were able to use the Insight program to clear that fault even though it was an active fault. There are some SCR system faults that will stay active even once you correct the problem, but you can use Insight to clear them if they truly are corrected. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Neural Splendor.